Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna to be talking about the top three worst nutrients in my personal experience. But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for one-on-one -on -one grow help, tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget, if you wanna come and check out our grows and just chill with us, be sure to join us on Discord. Link to that is gonna be in the pinned message at the bottom. Some of you guys recognize the shirt, Stoned and Successful, repping that CLTV vibe, you know what I mean? Shout out to you, Rob and Trey, love you guys. Now, before we go into my top three worst nutrients and amendments, this is gonna be only my own personal opinion. This is based on the experience that I've had with these products, so don't jump at me if you disagree. Some of us are gonna disagree, some of us are gonna agree. Most of you guys are probably gonna agree, but still, it's just my opinion, just one man's opinion. That's why I'm coming out with this video. This was much requested. We came out, I think we came out with the top five best nutrients and amendments. So I figured I'm gonna come out with the top three worst nutrients out there. Now this is just from what I've used. If there's some worse stuff out there, let me know in the comment section. You know, I haven't used all the stuff out there. You know how many nutrient lines there are in the world now? Like it's crazy. Like you just go to a hydro shop and it's just like, shelves upon shelves like never ending full of stuff we're gonna start with like the least worst and then go to the ultimate worst okay that's gonna be the best way we're gonna be doing this video general hydroponics i'm talking about the flora grow the flora bloom and the flora micro that's the stuff i've used i'm not gonna say it's terrible okay i'm not gonna say general hydroponics it's terrible but the reason i use general hydroponics this is pretty funny so much influence on the products i've already been using now as far as the general hydroponics I'm sure everybody knows what orange and blue slash purple is. I'm colorblind, okay? I use the general hydroponics pH and pH down, and uh, that's always seemed to work. I always seem to work great, so I figured, you know what? I'm going to try the general hydroponics nutrient line. It's got to be pretty good. I guess if you're looking for a beginner nutrient line to kind of mess around with, you could grab general hydroponics, but I never really noticed a huge difference when it came to flowering production or just the overall growth of my plants. General hydroponics didn't straight up wow me. It wasn't like, oh my God, look at this insane growth. Oh man, general hydroponics all the way. I never, never got that. It was kind of similar to like the whole Fox Farm deal. General hydroponics was the second nutrient line that I've ever tried out. And I used it for, I used it for about two runs. You can't just go with one run and then, you know, just base your opinion. I, I feel like you gotta get at least two runs under your belt because you're probably gonna mess up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I figure if you get like two runs on a nutrient line. I think that's gonna be the best way for you to really make your determination if something's gonna work out or not. So is general hydroponics trash? No. Is, is it the greatest thing since sliced bread? Absolutely not. Number two, this one's gonna be a huge shock to you guys because I am a huge supporter of this company and that is ILGM Nutrients. I'm not a fan of them. I'm, I'm really not a fan of them. And you know what? I did try them for the two runs like I told you. I used the ILGM Nutrient line, I think like, 2018, I think that's kind of around when we were using the ILGM nutrient line. We were using the flowering pack nutrients. You know, we've used the bloom boosters. We've used a lot of different stuff from ILGM and I'm really not impressed. I don't think there's anything really that great about their nutrient line and ILGM is already expensive, but at least for the beans, you can justify their price point. I can justify their price point. They have a 100% germination rate. Some people complain they're not germinating right. Learn how to germ. I think between ILGM's no variety in the industry with their price point, their expensive price point, mind you. I feel like they could have done a little bit better job when it came to their nutrients. I wasn't that crazy about them. I know you're probably wondering what bottle nutrient line wowed you. And honestly, humble secret, that was the one line that really, really wowed me. Okay, I had some crazy results. And Comparing like Humboldt Secret to already like the General Hydroponics or the ILGM Nutrients, I mean, it's like night and day. So ILGM Nutrients, they're definitely not worth it. If you're looking at them and you're looking to buy them, save your money. If you wanna go out and get ILGM beans, go for it. Their beans are the bomb. I've been growing ILGM beans for, since I started, I mean, you know what, nine, 10 years I've been growing ILGM and I've always had really good yields. I've had really good potency. Like the medication is really great. So ILGM beans are great. Their nutrients, not so much. Now the number one worst nutrient, okay? The number one worst. 
I don't care who agrees, who disagrees, because I've had experience with this for a long time, and I already know you guys most likely, especially you longtime OGs already know, Fox Farm nutrients are the worst, the dirty dozen, garbage, okay? The Fox Farm, the Bush Doctor, all that stuff, even their bloom boosters are kind of trash, okay? Like, maybe aside from like Beastie Blooms, all right? But everything else is pretty much garbage, super highly concentrated. If you follow the Fox Farm soil schedule, trust me, because I can tell you this, I followed it to a T. You're gonna get nutrient burn almost every single time. I actually went halfway. That's why I tell people whenever you go with the synthetic liquid bottle nutrients, things of that sort, always go half strength. A lot of this also depends on the type of soil that you're running with, the type of either pre-mix or super soil or the amendments, you know, how well amended your soil is. So it really depends. But like, that's why I would always tell people to go half strength when you're going with, you know, like the Fox Farm stuff. The Dirty Dozen is probably the worst nutrient line I've ever worked with. And I don't even care if Fox Farm watches this video. Like their soils, okay. Their pre-mix stuff, it's pretty decent, okay. It's, it's pretty good. But their nutrients are just garbage. And I used Fox Farm nutrients for the first four years that I've been growing. And I noticed like, what's going on here? I'm not seeing any crazy growth. I wanna see, you know, I would look at, you know, Cali Green and you know, all the yields that all these other guys on the internet were having. And I'm like, man, I wanna get this, I wanna get this. I switched up using different amendments. Then I got crazy good results. Like especially when I started going organic, that's when I had like really, really good results. Back to what I was saying about the Fox Farm stuff. You don't really notice these results because like for me, I st when I started growing, I was using the Fox Farm stuff religiously for four years, for four years. I was, I was going full strength and I was going half strength. I experimented with all the different stuff. So if you guys are thinking of picking up some of those Fox Farm nutrients, I know, listen, before we started the channel, let's just say like 2018, 2017, 2018, everybody was buying Fox Farm nutrients. Everybody. It was so marketed. It was it was crazy. Everybody's talking about it. Every, you gotta have this, you gotta have this, you gotta get the Fox Farm stuff. You gotta get the bloom boosters. Oh my God, you know, Beastie Blooms, Open Sesame, Cha-Ching, NPK ratio is like 0, 30, 50, 0, 50, 50. Like, it, it's crazy. A lot of people, when people start seeing numbers, man, they think numbers constitute results, but it, it doesn't, it's not, it's not always that case, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys are thinking about getting Fox from nutrients, stay away from it. There's other stuff out there. Learn to go either organic, or if you're really set on getting the bottle nutrients, try Humble Secret. I heard Blue Planet nutrients is really good. I heard Remo nutrients are really good. Lotus, the flower fuel. There's a lot of good stuff out there, okay? There, there's a lot of stuff out there that you can use. Fox Farm nutrients, trash. ILGM nutrients, they're like next to trash. Not quite trash, but they're they're like on the cusp, you know what I'm saying? And General Hydroponics is like, take it or leave it, not really that impressed. But guys, let me know in the comment section what your experience is with, you know, whether you use, you know, the Fox Farm, the ILGM, the General Hydroponic Nutrients. If there's a brand that I haven't mentioned that you're like, oh my God, this is garbage, make sure that you drop that in the comment section below. I want a full length discussion on this. I want that comment section blowing up, all right? I want you guys, because this is important stuff, you know, everybody's working worried about nutrients, everybody's talking, everybody wants to get the best nutrients, everybody's looking at what the worst nutrients are, like it's super important stuff, so let me know in the comment section. All right guys, so before we close off today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon, I really appreciate the love and support. So I'm gonna close out today's video, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, and as always, stay safe, peace.